Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, so, when you're doing anything, you want to make sure your equipment's all accurate and such. Uh, I got a bag full of these hygrometers from Amazon. You know, we all know these ones. They're not the most accurate for uh, showing. But if you um, test them, you know what they're off, so you can just add or minus. So, I'm going to show you how to do that with a salt test. So basically the concept of this uh, salt test is, um, we're going to create a atmosphere of 75% RH inside this bag. I'm going to put a few of these in there with a salt and water slurry mixture such. Um, you'll see this used for humidors and whatnot for cigars. It is tried and true, um, and why wouldn't you want to know what your uh, your percentage is off at? So let's go. Um, what you're gonna need is just table salt. You don't want coarse stuff. You just want the um, the fine table salt. Just regular old tap water. Doesn't matter if it's distilled or not, you need a tablespoon and a teaspoon and then you need a container. So on a lot of people use a um, like a two liter pop bottle lid. It's not big enough. It doesn't have enough surface area for the salt mixture to actually work properly in the bag. Um, so if you are in Canada, you have access to your dispensaries and they have those plastic uh, little containers that your uh, your flower comes in except for it has a little safety ring in here so what you do is just pry it out but be careful because it is in there pretty good it is meant to keep kids out so just make sure that you um, be careful when you do this but these are the perfect size if you can find something close whatever if it's a little smaller it doesn't matter but you want to be able to fit the slurry in there um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is it's going to be a tablespoon and a teaspoon of salt and then it's going to be just a little bit more of a teaspoon so you want it to have a consistency of like a slurpy or like a slushy you know you go down to the corner store and you on summer day one of those right so what we're going to do is so I have the salt in here just because uh, I want to make sure that's easy to get level for you guys to show you. One tablespoon. Teaspoon. So we're going to get teaspoon of water and again you want it to be a consistency of a slurpee so you mix it up this is why I say you need a little bit more like a few drops more just to make it that because it just just a little bit too little. So let's go drop by drop because you don't want to. Get too much in there. And you just want it to be that consistency. So what I like to do is. Um, when I think it's ready. It should just compact pretty easily when you um, put it against the ground. So it needs a little bit more.
Get a little mix up. So it flattened out. It's nice and flat. It's not soaking wet. When you tip it, it's got barely, it's just hanging on. And then you take your uh, hygrometers. I might as well put them all in there. I don't want to use up too much space. So you don't want the uh, solution to actually touch the stuff. You're going to just throw them in there. And the idea is, is inside this bag, if it's sealed, so you want to make sure there's no holes in the bag or anything, inside this bag will be a perfect 75% RH. And I know you can't change these. So you can't change these, but you can write. So on my other ones, I uh, just take a little thing right here and I put a little white out or whatever right on top of the screen. And I write plus or minus whatever. You should check these every six months at least. Um, these ones maybe a little bit more. And what you do is you leave it in this bag for in at room temperature, out of the sun. Just put it in the cabinet or whatever, just room temperature. Leave in this bag for about 16 to 18 hours. After that you check it and it'll be a perfect 75 so if they're off adjust it if you can or write it on there or just take note so you can use these and you'll know the accuracy of it um and there you go it's pretty simple it's easy and why not all right peace